Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Brito. I'm the director of the thyroid center here at Mount Sinai downtown at Union Square, and I'm here to provide uh, to provide promotion for uh, Thyroid Awareness Month. As you guys know, your thyroid gland is important for a lot of functions in your body. It controls your metabolism, um, heart rate, um, your bowel movements, and um, also associated with weight, memory, and concentration. Uh, your thyroid is located in the anterior portion of your neck, um, where uh, right anterior to your um, windpipe. It's right under the skin, um, and it's fairly small. Um, it weighs usually less than 20 grams, um, but it has a lot of important functions. And, and also, besides abnormality with thyroid function, you can also have thyroid nodules. Um, so the first thing that I want to touch base with the audience is about early detection of thyroid nodules and, and thyroid cancer. As opposed to other uh, thyroid, um, other nodules and cancers in the body, we don't have a structured uh, prevention um, guideline. So it's really important for the patient to be aware and to make their primary care doctor aware that they want their thyroid check. Um, you may notice a lump in your neck when you look in the mirror. You can also notice it when you put lotion in your neck um, or when you are just um, cleansing the area. If you find that, you should definitely alert your doctor who will order blood work um, and possibly a um, thyroid ultrasound after they examine your neck in the office. Um, the importance of early detection is very prominent um, now, uh, not only because we want to uh, treat early if there's uh, thyroid cancer, but also because there's other options aside from surgery if we have early detection in regards to monitoring. Um, the ease of treatment and how well patients do um, is probably the prime reason why we want uh, patients to um, get addressed early. Also for women, um, we have um, a lot of importance in thyroid function. Um, one, because uh, it is also associated to the regulation of our cycle, um, but also uh, in pregnancy, um, the baby doesn't develop a thyroid for the first 12 weeks. Um, so it's really important if you're thinking about pregnancy or if you are currently pregnant to make sure that your OBGYN or primary care doctor check your thyroid blood work. Um, because for the development of the baby, um, it's solely dependent on mom for those first three months. And a lot of people might not know that they have thyroid disease. What are the potential risks of not knowing? Well, uh, one of the things that we notice when patients don't know that they have uh, thyroid disease um, is that they are having very low function at, at work or at school. Um, they're not remembering things, having issues with concentration and memory. Um, they start noticing that they have difficulty uh, losing weight. Um, not knowing that their uh, thyroid is very high, for example, can expose them to feeling uh, jittery and hot and sweaty. Um, and that can actually long term uh, cause issues with your cardiac function and the health of your bones uh, moving forward in age putting you at risk for osteoporosis, for example, if you have a very uh, overactive thyroid that's been untreated. You had mentioned that women are at high risk. What do they need to know about thyroid disease? Well, the primary thing that women need to know is that um, their thyroid function is related to um, not only their fertility and the survival of pregnancy, um, but also the regulation of their cycle. Um, it is not the only component of their um, menstrual cycle, of course, uh, but those variations that um, make patients suspect that there's something is wrong um, in terms of their uterus and ovaries um, can sometimes just be related to the thyroid. You had touched on the issue of pregnancy. What advice do you have for pregnant women when it comes to their thyroid? Simply to uh, think about getting your thyroid checked even in preconception planning and that basically means before you're pregnant just when you are trying to become pregnant. Uh, remember that when women uh, learn about their pregnancy a few weeks into it, um, we have already lost a few weeks in terms of uh, actually getting their thyroid hormone levels at the target for pregnancy. It's also important for women to know in pregnancy that certain variations of their thyroid function can be expected in terms of producing more thyroid hormone 
as a response to having um, uh, the child in the uterus. And uh, to also understand that if they do have an underactive thyroid or an overactive thyroid already, the target in pregnancy and the treatment in pregnancy will vary to accommodate um, for the child. Talk to us about some of the new approaches that Mount Sinai is using to deal with thyroid disease. Well, actually, currently, um, we have um, several surgeons that work with us that are very innovative, including um, utilizing national um, uh, databases, basically to um, have early monitoring and detection and follow-up of thyroid cancer um, with our Thyroid Cancer uh, Care Collaborative. We also have thyroid surgeons that use remote access and new techniques um, for uh, hidden scar surgery. And we also have a lot of research ongoing, uh, basic science research in regards to autoimmune thyroid disease. Basically, when your own immune system is ex attacking your thyroid um, in uh, new discoveries. We're getting some questions from our audience for you. And one of them is asking about diabetes. What do you do if you have diabetes? Well, um, diabetes and thyroid are not always related. We do know that when patients have a diagnosis of diabetes, they are about one-third more probable to um, develop um, thyroid dysfunction than the general population. The guidelines for um, becoming aware of thyroid disease in diabetes include um, at least an annual check of a what we call TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, which is basically to screen whether you have an overactive or an underactive thyroid. If you have type 1 diabetes, you should also be screened at least once every three years for thyroid antibodies. Um, because type 1 diabetes is also an autoimmune condition, it predisposes you to having other autoimmune conditions, including thyroid immune conditions. Mount Sinai recently opened this thyroid center here at Union Square. Talk to our audience about why this is so important and how this can benefit patients. Well, the uh, thyroid center is located here in a building in Union Square at 10 uh, Union Square East in New York. Um, where you can have actually multiple um, specialties um, within one building, allowing for the patients to receive um, multiple services in one visit and sometimes even results in the same visit. Um, here we have our division of endocrinology, our colleagues from surgery, our pathologists that um, interpret on site any thyroid biopsies that we perform, uh, radiology, and the endocrinologists also perform the ultrasound the same day of the visit, providing the results for the patient also the same day. And um, we also, um, very nearby, have ophthalmology and nuclear medicine uh, just a few blocks from uh, our building here. So having all of the services in one place can really save a patient time and the stress of making multiple appointments on different days and traveling all over the city. Correct. Uh, sometimes patients will, you know, see the endocrinologist, maybe have blood drawn, then an ultrasound is ordered somewhere after the ultrasound result is seen, then a biopsy is decided, that's another appointment, and after the biopsy, then you may need to see a surgeon, which is another appointment. Here, for example, if we uh, detect um, that there is a, a thyroid nodule on physical exam or by referral, we'll do the ultrasound, we'll do the biopsy, we'll obtain the preliminary result by the pathologist the same day and um, refer you right to the surgeon who's here in our building. Anything else you'd like to add? Nothing else, just that we welcome you to become aware of um, your thyroid, um, to take advantage of January as, your, as the Thyroid Awareness Month to alert um, your primary care doctor if, you're, if you annually see him, in Janu him or her in, in January. Um, and, and also to um, look for the link that will be posted after this video for our thyroid center if you need any of our resources.